Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another They Are Billions video. I hope everybody's holidays went well. I haven't been able to play very much lately because of the holidays, so I haven't been uploading any videos, but I thought I would make a video out of this. Uh, before the holidays, I was playing the campaign for They Are Billions. And every once in a while in the campaign, you run into these infected swarms, these moving skulls on the map. And that basically signifies that there is a swarm blocking you from the next mission location. This swarm is 2,640 infected. And so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video out of this. I've, I've uh, dealt with a few of these swarms, and for some reason I never did make a video of it. So I thought I might as well do that now. And uh, also to say Happy New Year to everybody. But when you load onto the map, the game is automatically paused. You have one structure. This is an officer's post. I'm not going to read all of that there, but you have an officer's post. And then you have a certain amount of points to spend in the lower right hand corner right down there I have about, I have about 1720 points to spend uh, you can see the map is pretty much wide open and the infected will be approaching from every direction so you spend your points to put down defenses both physical defenses like barriers and also placing troops so I'm going to start by uh, placing some barriers and making kind of a circle around my officer's post here. Go ahead and start over here, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to speed up this footage just in the interest of uh, saving a little time as I make my circle around. The officer's post. Like I said, I've played a few of these swarms and I've been basically using this same strategy the whole time, just kind of making a circle around it and then placing troops. There was one map where the infected approached from only the north and the south because the, the officer's post was basically in a canyon. Uh, but most of the most of these maps are like this. They're wide open. So now I'm going to start placing rangers around. The soldiers, I have access to soldiers as well, but they are more expensive uh, for points. So I'm just going to use rangers here. And I'm going to basically try to evenly distribute them around my circle of defense. And I'll go ahead and speed up this footage as well, just to save time. I had not, uh, when I played this, level here. I had not tried it before, so I had no idea whether I would win or lose, but I just thought, well, I'll make a video out of it either way. Either way, it'll be fun. And it's been a couple of weeks since I made any videos, so uh, I thought I should make some, some sort of video. And it was quick to play through this, so it didn't, did not take much time. So now we are ready to start the battle. And you will see on the mini-map down there in the lower left-hand corner, there are red dots from the north, south, east, and west. And basically the infected are approaching from every direction all over the place, as you will see. You, you'll, you'll, you're starting to see them close in on the edge of the map there. And I guess I should mention, uh, you may have noticed on the overall map screen, for the campaign that I have lowered the difficulty to easy. Uh, I was failing campaign missions over and over, so I decided to go ahead and lower the difficulty to easy. <laughs> so I'm not proud, but in the interest of full disclosure, I'll go ahead and reveal that I am on easy at this point. So I don't know how the difficulty affects the zombie types. These are all slow zombies, though, or slow infected, I guess. 
So now I'm going to redistribute my rangers up closer to the barriers so they can all start shooting as quickly as possible. And I'll go ahead and speed up this footage as well. Kind of get everybody up against the barriers. And then when we go back to normal speed, I'll just let it run for the rest of the level at normal speed. You can see on the mini-map that the infected appear to be more concentrated to the south. And that is where they will break through. I'll go ahead and spoil that and tell you they do break through. You can see now <laughs> they are approaching from every single direction. Our defenses are being attacked. And whenever the uh, voiceover guy makes a comment like that, you can see on the mini map there are little markers kind of telling you where, where he's talking about. Little red flashing squares. Those are the problem areas. But so far so good. They are going to break through though. They are in the south. And there you go. We have a hole in our fence. So I'm going to move my rangers up a little way away from the breach. I pause a lot when I'm playing this game. I panic and pause quite a bit, even on easy. But yeah, I was I was failing missions over and over, so I, I went ahead and lowered the difficulty just to get through the campaign. Um, <laughs> considering how the Stellaris series is going right now, maybe I should consider playing Stellaris on easy as well. But uh, I'm gonna I, well, I think you have to with Stellaris. I don't think you can change the difficulty level while you're playing your game. Uh, but the next series I might play on easy. Uh, just because my series with the Skrek entity is not going well at all. And we will get back to some Stellaris videos here pretty quick, but uh, like I said, I haven't had much time to play lately. But this was just like 20 minutes or half an hour to play through this, so I thought I'd go ahead and play it and make a video and say Happy New Year every to everybody and Happy Holidays and all that bit. Happy Infected Holidays. So you can see we've got some major breaches here in the south now. They are trying to break through. And it looks like they're about to get through there on the eastern side as well. Any infected around? Yep, they just broke through on the eastern side. So let's move our rangers a little bit together here and they can kind of help each other a little bit. You are gonna pay me for this, right? No infected this better be good. are getting very close to the uh, officer's post though, so that's good. And everywhere else is doing fine. You can see in the lower right hand corner there's a counter that shows how many infected are left. We still have about a thousand to go. But we're we are over halfway done with this swarm. And things are going relatively okay. I have failed these swarm levels before. This is called an attack mission, by the way. There are three different types of campaign missions uh, that I've seen so far, anyway. You have these attack missions where you're protecting an officer's post and then you have levels where you are controlling a hero character and you don't have a bunch of other soldiers with you at least at first you can find some other soldiers as you go through a level but um, usually there's some specific thing to find within a level with your hero and then there are also bonus objectives I think 
And then there are also campaign missions that are a lot like the uh, survival mode. Except you normally have some kind of extra goal, like uh, reaching a certain population level in a certain amount of time, uh, clearing all the infected off the map, uh, collecting a certain amount of gold, things like that. I do like this campaign. I, st I still uh, say this is a really cool game. They are billions. It's not a full price game. Uh, I really like it a lot. And I do think the campaign is cool. It, it was a free update for people who have the game, obviously. Uh, but I, I would say that the survival mode is probably still the best thing about the game. It's like uh, the main attraction. The campaign is sort of an extended tutorial from what I can tell. And I like it. It's a kind of a change of pace. Uh, but I do think the survival mode is the best thing about this game. But I think full price, this game is 40 bucks in America. So, you know, not too expensive. And I'm sure it goes on sale sometimes. I bought it at full price and I feel like I've gotten my money's worth easily but uh, you know no game is for everybody and here we go we're wiping out the final infected or did we there's one infected right there wandering from the east and we'll take care of him easily and there we go we have successfully defended our officers post the swarm has been destroyed we got, we didn't really get any points for that. Uh, I don't think you get points for these attack missions, but there are uh, research points that you get during the campaign, and that's, you go through a progression tree to unlock things. But we have unlocked the next campaign location, Cape Storm. So I don't know how many uh, people want to see more videos of this, but That'll do it for They Are Billions for now. So once again, Happy New Year to everybody, and thanks very much for watching.